Trillian Cole steps in at running back for UCF. Redshirt junior from right here in Orlando. And a lot of Orlando natives in this one. The crosser is there. Big play, Robinson. And Jay Flash, they call him Jalen Robertson, the transfer from Oklahoma. McLean, flush, heavy pressure. Well, he thought he was down for a minute. Instead, sails it out of bounds. And the pressure coming from Devontae Brown right off the edge from his cornerback position. And then take your shots vertically when you get a chance. Richardson into the backfield. He'll get the call off the right side and with all kinds of running work. Plus territory. Power finished. Stop to the 45 by Evans. Keen. Pressure. Screen. Richardson. All kinds of real estate. And there he goes. Richardson stopped at the five. It'll be first down and goal for the Knights. And Peter Navarro checks in at quarterback. 14 in black. He'll try the right side. Navarro towards the goal line for the UCF touchdown. Mikey Keene, no. Parker Navarro, yes. Power play, pull two from the left, two offensive linemen. They lead to the right. Navarro gets in behind him. They have played their best brand of football against the better teams on their schedule. Off the edge, McLean keeps it. Driven backwards and down he goes. A loss of two on the play. Jeremiah Jean Baptiste got there. Tempo for South Florida. Straight ahead, Gibb. Mangum. Leapfrogs the defender. Stopped at the 10. McLean, the freshman, keeps it. McLean. With a pat to the end zone for the USF touchdown and South Florida on the board. Timmy McLean. Speaking of nifty. Carter was the personal escort out there. Remember, that's the triple option. It's zone run inside. I don't like it. Do I have it to the edge? Now what's the fit look like with him and Gus Malzahn's offense? Left-hander can spin it at a high level. Richardson off and running. Richardson stays alive. Lasso from behind near the 20. 34 yards on the play, and the Knights on the move just like that. McLean keeps it, and big cap Bryant got there. Stopped in midfield. He's going to lose five, almost six on the play. Bulls one of four on third down. McLean please the pocket. And McLean passes caught. Back in UCF territory by use of Terry. That's a gain of 10. A stress reliever, is that what you called it? It's one of perhaps several things you could diagnose. Stokes gets it away cleanly. And how about the fake? Knights have it. Mokia Atamalala tripped up at the 25. Well, they faked everybody out on that one. Johnson just fell down on the far side, and the ball actually came over there. Trying to hit that 6-7 frame. And here's Keene. Front pylon. Caught for the touchdown. Brandon Johnson, we just mentioned his name, the transfer from Tennessee, and his 11th score of the season. Puts UCF back in front. Reviewed by the replay booth, but... This is a tremendous throw by a freshman quarterback. And from straight away. On the way. And the Bulls strike first in our third quarter. Fake to Joyner. And an open look down the field. That's a first down. Grabbed by Jimmy Horn. And the Seminole High School connection coming up with big yards. Give him 24. And off, Mangum with a first down. Gashing the UCF defense and plunging out of bounds near the 10. McLean retreats and is sacked back at the 20. Devon Wilson crashed through the line of scrimmage from his safety spot. 36-yard field goal coming from Spencer Schrader. It's one for two tonight. 
And make it two for three. Tenuous lead to say it the least, so keep in motion again. And the handoff, plenty of green. Richards into plus territory. And finally, a big play for the Knights offense. Williams drug him down. Critical possession for both sides. Second down and eight. Richards. All kinds of green in front of him. Richards. Tripped up at the 16 by Vincent Davis. Knights on the move, and Richards the primary reason why. Give him 15. Mark Anthony Richards, you'll see a polar opening up the hole for just four of nine this season on the way. And a big kick in crunch time. Do you pressure the young quarterback, or do you play structure on the back end? Five-man front for the Bulls. They'll drop Richardson with a crease and a first down. into South Florida territory on third and 14. He's tripped up by Vincent Davis. After a gain of 10. Empty backfield for McClain. Pressure. McClain and down he goes. Flag on the field. Likely a free play for McClain. Escapes. Directing traffic. And heaves this one. It's going to be picked off. Intercepted by Devon Wilson. Keep in mind the penalty marker down inside the 20. And I do believe the Knights jumped off sides. McClain. He's one deep double coverage and caught. Xavier Weaver with the play of the game so far. 34 yards. Time winding down. Here come the Bulls in the red zone. Here's McClain. Pressure, and down he goes at the 32. McClain. Takes off. McClain. First down and goal for South Florida. All the way down to the four-yard line. He'll roll the pocket. McLean looking. McLean intercepted. And he may have been down anyways. And if so, the Bulls are in trouble. Down just simply means the pass doesn't count, the interception. But the clock would continue to run. And the youngster McLean would have to have the wherewithal to say, hey, guys, we need to hurry up and spike this ball, which you can do with that much time left. McLean clearly with the knee down at the nine-yard line and with about nine seconds nine remaining. Seconds. And so that would have been third down. You line up and spike the ball. The ruling on the field has been concerned, confirmed. The quarterback's knee was down at eight seconds, and the play clock expired. The game clock expired during the play. The game is over. Wow. Wow. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.